The purpose of this video is to show you the installation process of this analog HD security system. The first step is you want to check and make sure everything that you purchase comes with the box. So check to make sure you have your cameras, your cords, and the DVR itself. The second step is to install the hard drive. This one does not come with a hard drive, so you want to make sure that you uh, provide your own. I recommend at least a one terabyte hard drive, and that's what I'm putting in today. So to take off uh, the case, you just unscrew these five screws. There's three in the back and then two on each side here, and it pops right off. The hard drive is mounted uh, in this position here. There's four provided um, silver screws, and you just screw those in and connect your two cables, and that's it. Step three is to plug everything into the back. Um, so you want to start with plugging in the coax cables. I do want to point out that while you're testing the system, I would not hook up your cameras. I would keep them close by to test them and make sure they work and then later you can run your system. Um, but these are your coax cables. They do run side by side with the power cables. I do want to point out that when installing you want to make sure the right ends are where they need to be. So this is going to be um, your camera side and this is going to be uh, your box side. Then the other cables you need to run are the HDMI which goes to your monitor or your VGA which is right below there. You have your Ethernet cable which is going to your wireless router. Below that the USB and then finally the power cord. Mine is plugged in but I suggest waiting to plug it into the wall until the next step. After you plug your power cable into the wall it's going to load up and you're going to see this uh, configuration wizard. So we'll go ahead and click next username and password is automatically going to be admin and there's going to be no password so go ahead and press OK and we can set that up later I'm going to go ahead and run through these settings here and after that I'll meet you on the next screen after you set up your time and your time format you'll see this screen make sure everything is OK as far as your networking and then this is how you install the app uh, this is just a simple QR code reader most phones would have one or you can download one and once you do that we'll go to the next screen once you're in the app you'll want to scan this but before you can do that you need to uh, register an account which is free so when you open the thing it'll ask you to log in but since you don't have a login yet click on login problems after that you'll want to click register then after register you'll see a screen to type an email address go ahead and type that in and uh, the next you'll have a get code screen. Now sometimes the code won't send but if it doesn't just click skip and after that you'll be prompted to uh, add in a username and password and then after that you'll be ready to log in. Uh, there's a screen where you add a device and on that screen you'll see um, one of these little QR images so press that and it'll bring you to a QR reader and then you'll just scan this and then once you scan it it pretty much just um, auto adds uh, your system that ties it in together so uh, I would make sure you name it something like home security or whatever you want to name it and then uh, just enter that in and it'll uh, connect to it so you can view it anywhere uh, on the road or when you're out and about I do want to make mention that when you set a username for some reason when I did all letters it just didn't work so I uh, did my username in like zero one so add in a number and it should work and then we'll go to the next screen and you should be ready thank you for choosing our products okay and that's it if you want to change your password just click under the main menu advanced account and then you're going to select the admin admin modify password your old password will be empty because there is none so just type in a new password uh, enter it in then type in confirm enter it in and then click OK and that changes your password. Since this is a four channel analog system you simply add or remove channels by unplugging them from the back of the box. Now I did uh, look in the menu options here and it does seem that there might be um, a way to do possibly like a split digital and a split analog um, system. So if you go to uh, channel type here it looks like you could do like two analog and two digital um, but I'm not able to set that up at this time um, and then you can go into your digital channels and config those um, so that looks like it may be an option um, I just thought I'd mention that 
for recording and playback by default it looks like the system sets all your cameras just to record um, by schedule from basically uh, all 24 hours so you don't really have to worry about messing with anything unless you want to um, adjust the times that they record and then for playback I really love this menu you have a complete 24 hour um, timeline at the bottom you have your um, controls, your pause, fast forward, rewind, etc. and you have an easy to read um, date here so you just click the date and you can see if it's recorded it'll have green here so since we had recently reset the um, hard drive it's just shown uh, this recording the small clip down here but if you had been recording for the entire day it should probably be all green um, but yeah you just click it and uh, it's easy to play back it's a really cool feature I just love the simplistic layout that they've had uh, with this system here if you want to change the name of your cameras just go into display uh, channel title you want to set it and uh, you can change it from the default cam 1, cam 2 etc and you can just name it whatever you want to it's uh, easy enough to do just to give you an idea of the app um, once you open and put in your login information you'll come to the screen that shows your device list and I just named mine home security and once you open that it'll uh, load up your cameras and you can check on them uh, and it loads really fast but yeah that's the app um, I haven't had an issue with it thus far um, everything loads really fast I've used other ones for like IP cams that I've used and they tend to load forever um, but this one it loads up really fast so I'm really happy with it but yeah that's how you use it hopefully this video helped you with the installation process um, this is probably one of the easier um, home security systems to install um, and there's some things I didn't cover just for a time limit on the video um, but a lot of information is in this guide and it's um, pretty easy to read and understand um, but hopefully you can tell from my video that it's extremely simple to install um, I do want to point out um, about this uh, camera system and, and how it differs from other IP cameras and stuff like that is this one is an analog uh, high definition system um, it differs from the IP um, wireless cameras in that it uses the coaxial cables rather than the wireless or the Ethernet um, cables to send the signal. Um, the benefit of this one is you do have the reliability of a wired system versus the often unreliable wireless system um, and that's a huge benefit. But the biggest benefit is the cost. You can get um, this system which cost a hundred dollars whereas the same exact um, 720p system in a wireless format is going to cost probably uh, 2 to 250 you can get a lot more for a lot less with this system um, so if your house permits it uh, and you're able to do a full wired system uh, this is a really good way to go um, so I just want to point out those those two biggest differences is that you really get a lot of bang for buck for this system um, if you can deal with it being wired which um, in a lot of a lot of ways I do prefer simply because it is a very reliable system um, I have used wireless systems and sometimes they do go out um, or lose signal whereas these uh, your signal is strong uh, you don't really lose it so just consider that um, a benefit if you're looking at getting uh, this analog system Hopefully this video helps. I uh, appreciate you watching.